five minutes. Rupert and James Murdoch uh, wrapping up nearly two hours of testimony before the select committee of the UK House of Commons. Uh, at times awkward, uh, contentious, apologetic, uh, but taking a sharp left turn uh, when that protester or comedian or whatever we're going to call him uh, tried to attack Murdoch uh, with this plate of shaving foam. Uh, anybody who was looking for Murdoch to take a bullet, though, uh, did not get their way. He yeah. uh, said that he was not directly responsible for this, said he's not going to resign, and in the end said, I'm the best person to clear this up. And by that, he meant the mess, not the pie or the foam on the floor of the hearing room. And you couldn't script this any better, really. I mean, the attacker came in, didn't hit Murdoch with the plate, got some foam on his jacket, which is why you saw Murdoch without his jacket on after they took that recess. And then Murdoch came in at the end and gave this really heartwarming speech about how Great Britain has given his family all these opportunities and that he's very humble, once again saying this is the most humble day of his life as he sits there just having been attacked with it off. Yeah. Uh, and in the stock, I don't think there's a coincidence here if you put up the intraday, with that uh, plate there was a pop in News Corp shares. Well, the, now the, the discussion will be, is the headline tomorrow, instead of something about the fiasco or this or the scandal is the is the headline tomorrow murdoch attacks Attacked, yes and to what degree uh does that make him look uh like a sympathetic character and jeff sonnenfeld um even removing the coat right uh and at 80 years old being able to finish that hearing is going to account for something in the public eye oh definitely